All right, let's do something different that I haven't done before. A simple critique on this video that I came across like the other day. September 5th, 2018. Japan's population problem. You're probably wondering, why would I want to look at this? Well, I, I watched it once and there was a few things I just, I came across and I was like, you know what, something's off about this video. So, let's take a look. Oops! Uh, Spacebar actually moves it all the way down. This video was made possible by Wix. If you are ready to... No. 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 ...lands right now. Child daring seems to be in the decrease globally in the developed world. While we have niche... De Nothing personal against Wix. I just... don't really care for... This video is sponsored by shit! If you don't believe in it, you're not good enough! ...dating apps on our cell phones to net a potential date and perhaps embark on a relationship Younger generations tend to miss out on the next steps of marriage and having babies. Wait, so the whole point of having a dating app is to miss out? Is that what this is? Please. Thus many nations are recording lower birth rate figures, and nowhere is this more noticeable than in Japan. Uh-huh, so are we using everyone else's example to sort of say there's something going on with Japan? Are we using comparative methods? Is that what's going on? So... But is it just the lack of marriages that is responsible for the drop of one million people in Japan's population statistics? Or are other factors at play? Other factors could be at play. Why use comparative statistics? From social anxiety to sex robots and an aging population, in today's episode of the Info... First of all, we have sex robots. And frickin... Ev everything else over in like in America and Europe why don't we complain about that why are we just looking at Japan what really makes Japan unique in this regard to a decreasing population For graphic show we ask why is Japan's population decreasing following decades of speculation about its aging population and low birth rate Japan released an official census to show her decreasing population in 2015 hold on a second this video is dated 2018, and you're taking a census from 2015? Could be three years old, mind you, but a lot does seem to change over three years. Now, in 2018, the population seems to continue to decrease. A census in 2010 counted the population at 100... Oh, now we're really going back to 2010. 28 million. This figure is also Japan's peak population figure. It has never risen above this number. You never know. It could turn into a gigantic orgy at one point, and then you could have another generation of baby boomers. But what do I know? In 2015, the population was 127 million, making the country the 10th most populous country at the time. So, in a series of five years, the country has gone down 1 million. So, every five years... Like, in 20 years, it'll go down 4 million? Is that the logic here? The latest count, according to Worlometers.com, is 127,159,185. In 8 years, the population has shrunk by almost a- Uh... Wait, 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 wait. I said it, it every 5 years, it goes down 1 million, but now you're you're somehow stating, stating 8 years it goes down 1 mil? What? A million people. This is the first time in the country's history that the population has shrunk. The figures around the Second World War show a decrease, but this is mainly due to the displacement of men stationed abroad on military duties during those years. There seem to be three main reasons behind Japan's decrease in people. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there are more reasons, but I'll just get right into it. Firstly, Japan's birth rate has dropped considerably. Secondly, the country has little in the way of immigration to make up that deficit. And thirdly, Japan has one of the highest life expectancy rates in the world. Okay, the first two I can understand with regards to population, but how does high life expectancy contribute to a decrease in population? If, if people are living longer, how, how does that prevent the population? Population from increasing. Okay, Th this seems like a bit of backwards logic. Like, how does life, high life expectancy, show as time goes on, the population will go down? Like, it it'll actually further the.
the population so longer down the road. Okay, that's backwards logic right there. At least on this article's point of view. If you are born in Japan, you can be expected to live to the ripe old age of 85 years, according to 2016 statistics. Once again, statistics could be outdated and things could change, but uh, it, you could actually live in another country to live longer. But again, longer life does not contribute to the decrease in population over time. As you said, there could be other factors. So less people are being born, people are generally living longer, and not many people from outside countries migrate to Japan. Uh -huh. Japan has a population density in 2011 of 336 people per square mile. It ranks as the 35th most densely populated country in the world. 75%... Hold on a second. Uh, let me look at this. What does a population density have to do with why the population is going down at all? Like... Yeah, people are crowded. How? There are other countries I can name that are even more crowded. You could look at Toronto. Uh, there are people walking up and down the streets everywhere. And even Canada has had that similar uh, problem with regards to lack of uh, population growth over time. And even in some cases, we allow a lot of people from other countries into this multicultural area. When I go outside... And I listen to people on the streets, it sounds like I'm playing The Sims, because they're talking all these languages. But I don't see how that contributes to a complete uh, decrease in population. You have immigration here in Canada, and yet the population still decreases. So I don't know if that's a, a proper cause and effect to contribute to the idea of decrease in population of Japan's land is made up of mountains with a forest cover range of 68.5%. So does Canada. Canada has a lot more forests and mountains. In Japan, it's just a smaller space. Therefore, 90.7% of Japanese people live in the cities. 2012 data recorded by the National Institute of Population... So what? A lot of, lots of people live in cities. They're more populated. They're... They're more condensed. People are more connected. Is there a correlation between the aspect of people living in cities and how they reproduce? Oh, well, let's go out to the countryside. Let's go have sex. Are, you, are we saying that there's not enough people living out in the countryside? Is there a reason why we see this statistic saying there's too many people in the cities? Is there, is this a contributing factor or is it just random filler? And social security research indicates that Japan will keep decreasing by approximately 1 million each year in the approaching decades, leaving Japan with a population of 42 million in the year 2110. Okay, before I go on, I need to raise one issue. This, this article doesn't, it, it, it states it as a problem, the population problem, that the, obviously, Japan's population is decreasing, but it doesn't go so far as to state a solution. So, it just focuses more on the problem. That's why I'm having such a huge problem with it. In 2060, they have predicted that 40% of the population will be aged over 65 years. Currently, 20% of the population are aged 65 and older. Uh -huh. So, Japan is set to become a country for old men and women. For a country to sustain growth, a birth rate of 2.1 is required, but Japan's birth rate stands at about 1.4. I think I have an idea as to why, but, but I'd like to hear your reason first. So why aren't Japanese people having children? Well, a 2013 survey suggested that one-third of Japanese people don't see the point of marrying and having children. Historically, marriage ha- Now, okay, the reason why the- the birth rate is like 1.4 is, let's be honest, Japan is is neighbors with China. And over there, they got the one-child policy population because of uh, severe overpopulation within China. Uh, it, maybe some of the policies from China has leaked over to Japan because they are closely related. If you've ever looked at other countries you mentioned that we're taking a statistic from other countries and judging japan so we might as well take china into the mix but if we're not looking at that we're just looking at well our standard our statistics i'm not i'm not 
denigrating the aspect of statistics to undermine the study, but I just feel that we're, we're not looking at too many factors here to make a conclusion as to why the birth rate is low. We're, like, the aspect of not too many people, or the one-child policy from China could have leaked in Japan, not too many people are interested in sex, people, living standards, reproductive standards have increased. The age of consent in Japan is really low. Actually, let me look that up for a second. Japan's age of consent. Was 13 at one point. 13 years old! My god. Oh, we're, we're basing a multi. Uh, oh, what was that? Multicultural relativistic aspect. We're using our standards to judge Japan. Like, does Japan care if its population is going down, or do we just care? That's the problem. Has been encouraged. Recently, however, the country has experienced a shift in social standards, with more and more singletons choosing to remain that way. The magazine Joshi Spa conducted a survey on the merits of marriage and discovered that 33.5% of the 37,610 surveyed didn't see any point in tying the knot. Have you ever watched Two and a Half Men? <laughs> <coughs> Enough said! Remember the Alamo. <laughs> One survey subject noted, if you are single, you can use your money exactly as you like. And no matter how much you spend on your hobbies or interests, no one will complain, and you can live at your own pace. Okay, if you're single, no one will complain? Maybe. Like, we already complain about millennials, like, doing too, too much games and just texting and everything. Even I don't text all the time. Maybe because I don't have that many friends to text because I'm so freaking lonely. But that's another problem for another day. I think uh, if this just overshadows millennials and their personal lifestyle. Like, it, it does say we're not complaining about people who are not suffering under marriage. There are not enough people suffering under the aspects of matrimony. Therefore, let's rip on the millennials but if you get married all that disappears so i really want to ask honestly is there any merit to getting married the survey showed the largest age group who were not interested in getting hitched at 40.5 percent were in their 30s but teens were also hesitant with 38 percent of teens having no interest in what why are we doing a survey of teens 38 percent of teens have no interest <laughs> Okay, let's, uh, I don't think teenagers are interested in getting married at all. If we're really using as an example from other countries, I don't know if we're complaining about people not reproducing enough. Let's go to a random high school and ask a bunch of teenagers if they want to get married. Why are we, why are we dragging teenagers into this? And getting married. Cultural change is partly the reason for this population decrease and lack of baby making. Previous generations bore children in their mid to late 20s, while the current generation wait until they have a solid career. Japanese people nowadays tend to have kids in their 30s rather than their 20s. Yeah, they're smart. They don't, they don't become teenage parents. Maybe because they're smart, they have less kids. I can remember a, a movie back in the day called Idiocracy that the, sm the people who were smarter had less kids, and the people who are, like, super dumb just had so many kids. So, I think you're you're kind of alluding to the fact that there's a bit of a correlation between intelligence and reproduction. That the, the most stupidest, the most, the most intelligent people have the less kids. Maybe they're smart enough not to get involved in financial calamities that you're just pretty much outlining. More Japanese women have a career nowadays, so the traditional family model has changed in Japan, uh -huh. as it has in most developed countries around the world. Uh -huh. There is also a tradition of women looking for men who are in full-time employment with strong careers. Many of the men in these positions are no longer looking to provide for others. Okay, if there's a quote I can remember from The Great Gatsby that Daisy has ever said to Nick or Jay, that rich women 
don't marry poor boys. So, of course, women are going to look for rich guys. This is just an obvious fact. There is definitely a lone wolf philosophy emerging. Men and women seem to be content choosing their own paths and providing for themselves. Then we have what the Japanese call Sekusushinai Shokogun, or celibacy syndrome. The under 40s in Japan seem to be losing interest not just in marriage, but in relationships in general. Millions. First of all, uh, the celibacy syndrome. Wait, is there anything I have to say on that? No, I don't. The Japanese don't <laughs> date and can't be bothered with personal contact. The number of single people recorded in a 2011 survey numbered 61% of unmarried men and 49% of women who were not in any kind of relationship. Huh. Gee. So, men are more lonelier than women. How is that possible? Like, if you were to divide the population, half the population will be men and the other half of the population will be women. So, how is it that women, still a greater majority of women, 51% minus the 49, still are able to get a relationship? Does this sort of allude to the aspect of yuri, freaking lesbianism? Are we complaining about same-sex relationships at this point, where more women than men are in relationships? But how is that possible? Maybe it's because everybody's turning gay. Another study found that a third of people under the age of 30 had never dated at all. The Japan Family Planning Association discovered that 45% of women aged 16 to 24 were not interested in or despised sexual contact. Well, <laughs> I think I can answer that question. First of all, I'm, I'm, this is just my biased point of view, but... If you go to Japan in one of the Ak Akita districts or downtown Tokyo or one of the one of those just areas, nightclub, love hotels, there is so much hentai, <laughs> and uh, I I don't blame the younger generations for getting in contact with that much culture from Japan, that much anime, that much sexual culture just being imposed at them at a really young age where they see sex as one gigantic trap don't have sex not because it is pleasurable or it's you'll get married one day but it's just bullshit period because like you'll you'll be part of a relationship you'll never like you'll be you'll be with a shrewd wench that'll hate you for the rest of your life and just more examples from Two and a Half Men. And you know what? I, I shouldn't use fictional examples. I should actually come up with something a little bit more realistic. Like, a lot of people don't want to get married. I've seen people who are not happy with their life when they're married. And maybe that's just my own example. Maybe some people, there's too much of a connection with that which is negative, which is positive. Maybe there are some people who are married. I don't know. But, yeah. There... Oh, who doesn't despise sex? Maybe it's because we're living in a more feminized area where women just hate sex more, so that that view is imposed on men who just despise sexual contact. So, yeah. Over a quarter of men were equally squeamish when it comes to matters of the opposite sex. <laughs> okay, but what about the same sex? Huh? Japanese sex therapist A. Oyama said in a Guardian article of October 2013 that Japan's great cities are spiraling away from each other and that people are turning to what she terms pot noodle love, easy or instant gratification. What the hell? Pot noodle love? Okay, I know it's a term to describe something else, but it, it almost sounds like a, like a new hentai. I'm not trying to judge it, it's just... Yeah, it, it's a Japanese standard. It sounds really messed up. I'm not trying to undermine it because of the fact that it sounds messed up, but maybe... <coughs> what the hell is pot noodle love? <laughs> pot noodle love. I better not see a hentai. Uh, I love pot noodles. Love Island, pot... Da, 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 da. What is pot noodle love? What about a year to go from an article I read in The Guardian... What the hell is pot noodle, noodle love? Oh god, it sounds like a freaking... 
I can't do it alone. If I can load any faster, that would actually help. <clears throat> What is pot noodle love? It's a term I heard a year ago. It refers to human flight from intimacy. It causes a significant reproduction in human reduction in human reproduction. Specific articles say statistics in Japan. For example, Japan's population is expected to reduce by a third. Huh. Gee, I thought every five years it reduces by a million, but no, it's gonna reduce. Is technology designed to connect us? Physics succeeding? No! It's not! This might be a casual sexual hookup in a love hotel, or, more frequently, a technological fix in the shape of online pornography, virtual reality girlfriends, or sex dolls. Hmm. I think I have this idea that James Rolfe said in one of his videos when he talked about Blu-rays and DVDs. Like, as technology progresses, our lives tend to get shittier. Well, Japan does have highest technology there is like they're 10 years ahead of us i've seen technology like a like a a un giant underground cylindrical bike storage units or robots or or monorails or just high-tech apps they're they're ahead in the technological race i don't know maybe that could be a contributing factor why is that not labeled as a factor a. Oyama goes on to explain that some of her clients are recovering from hikimori, or reclusion. Some have become otaku, aka geeks, and others parasito shingurus, or parasite singles. Of the estimated 13 million unmarried people in Japan who live with their parents, about 3 million of those are above the age of 35. The 40-year-old virgin is now a real concept in Japan. A few people can't relate to the opposite sex physically or in any other way. Unless you become transgender. Then you can relate to the other sex. They flinch if I touch them, Oyama explains. She goes on further to tell the reporter that most of those who suffer from this incredible shyness are men. But she is starting to see more women terrified of the opposite sex as well. Okay, I think I remember a quote from C.K. Louis where he talked about, uh, during one of his skits, that the most, the number one threat to women is men. So you know what? I think that fear of misandry is somewhat rooted. Are you one of these men? How no. about creating a website telling the world how one- <sighs> This article is weird. It, it, it's a little bit vague. It goes through several problems, but it doesn't offer any solutions to any one of them. It says that Japan has a problem, but there, it, it offers more problems than it could ever offer any solutions. The, the idea with the statistics is a little bit outdated. A lot of them are from 2010, even though it's 2018. Uh, the aspect where we're complaining about teenagers are not getting it on is ridiculous enough as if we want to have a borderline pedophilia. Uh, the aspect where it alludes to uh, different changes, it, 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 it overlooks a lot of society's a natural change, like identity politics, like LGBT. A lot of people are becoming gay, so the relationships are changing. Uh, technology has increased a lot. We went from megabyte to gigabyte, terabyte hard drives, and technology it does have an impact on relationships. It makes people's lives shittier in some way. So that's just a leap of logic right there. Uh, but it doesn't really go into much. It, it is an interesting idea, but it just seems to regurgitate a lot of talking points that a lot of other people discuss. So, just leave it at that.